Welcome back to the Ninth Gym program. And today, we're doing some more Players' Cup prep. Uh, pretty basic prep here, you know. I'm going to get you prepped up on all these good Pokemon that are constantly used in the meta. Uh, a little bit of some strategies and stuff. And we're just going to talk about it real quick. Uh, just because, you know, taking uh, if, you t if you're taking the Players' Cup 4 very seriously, it's it's, it's a pretty good thing to, to know, you know, what's going on in the meta and stuff like that. You know, if, if you're super into the game and you already know all this stuff, then you already know it. But I might as well just go ahead and g give a little rundown on the format um, as it is going to be pretty much the last thing, you know, that we see in the format. Because uh, after that, we only have a couple more weeks in the format before it shifts again by May 1st. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty big tournament, though, um, you know, something matters to a lot of people if it doesn't matter to you then you know just, just enjoy the uh, enjoy the video anyway 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 we're getting into it uh so let's go ahead and start off with some supportive pokemon some staples in the meta um stuff like that you know some glue and then we're going to talk about more specific strategies later um most all of the restricted pokemon are going to come later in the format or uh, later in this because you know it's you only get one per team you know all these pokemon are going to be uh, you know on any team so anyway, let's get into it. So Grim Snarl is gonna be the first one here that I'm gonna talk about. It's really, really important in the format. Uh, a lot of, you know, calcs and damage calcing is done with screens in the format because of Grim Snarl. Due to the aggressiveness of, of the format, just how fast of a format it is, it's really good to get up your, yourself a little defensive wall. You set that up, you get some Intimidate going. Um, you have some good supportive Pokemon that are like a sturdy backbone of the format. The main ones here are gonna be Grim Snarl and Lando. There are some other ones that we'll talk about here in a little bit, like Tapu Fini, um, P2, you know, your, your Trick Room guys, Umbreon, Amoongus, all these kind of really good Pokemon, but uh, the biggest staples in the meta are actually going to be these couple here, Grimmsnarl, and then we have Lando. So let's talk about Grimmsnarl a little bit more. He does have a couple of different options other than just screens. This is the common set you'll see, Reflect, Light Screen, Thunder Wave, Spirit Break. Uh, Spirit Break being able to lower the special attack of the Chugga by one, essentially being a Snarl for one Pokemon, um, while doing still pretty good damage with Spirit Break as well. You have Screens and then Thunder Wave for a really, really good thing. With uh, with Prankster, Thunder Wave, you have, uh, you know, very, very uh, satisfying speed control, while also, you know, being able to minimize the, the amount of turns your opponent gets that are actually useful. You know what I mean? So that is really, really strong. Prankster Thunder Wave has been really, really big for a while. Some other things that Grimmsnarl can carry is like Scary Face, Taunt, Foul Play, Sucker Punch, even though they are all pretty unlikely. Um, but we have seen a very big influx in uh, Scary Face and Taunt recently. And uh, I think that's pretty interesting. Definitely something to keep aware of. You know, I got blown out by a Scary Face one time and I was like, what? I, I didn't know about it. You know, it's a new tech. It's something that a lot of players are now, you know, moving toward into that in, uh, for the Grim Snarl. It goes by two and it has 100 accuracy instead of the 90% uh, accuracy that you, that the Thunder Wave carries. So um, having that good speed control is pretty cool. And it can be ran over Spirit Break as well. Um, but typically you'll see these two moves and then one of these two moves. Probably the Spirit Break and then Thunder Wave or Scary Face or Taunt even. Um, so that's, you know, Grim Snarl. Grim Snarl usually runs a pretty defensive calc um, spread as well, especially with the Reflect and Light Screen. Fake Out's really good against this guy. You know, you get up, uh, you know, you get your Incineroar in on lead. Um, just be careful leading Incineroar in this format because of Pokemon like the Thunderous. Um, that is going to be really powerful. On to the next thing, we have Lando. Lando is going to fit on many, many, many teams. It's going to be here with Incineroar. Um, you know, going to be on a lot of teams. Lando, however, is different from Incineroar. Incineroar it doesn't do as much damage. It does focus more on having able, being able to go for that Intimidate right off the bat and be incredibly bulky while also being able to throw out those really powerful moves like the Flare Blitz, Darkless Lariat. But it also has things like Taunt and Snarl that are different from the Lando T. Our Lando T here is usually gonna be running either an Assault Vest or a Life Orb, which will give it a little bit more you know, um, bulk in this case, and then a little bit more damage with Life Orb. Tend to, uh, usually if they are running Life Orb, they will be running Protect as well, but usually if it's Assault Vest, well, always if it's Assault Vest, they're going to have four attacks. Those are going to be the Earthquake, Fly, Rock Slide, the Dual Stab plus Rock Slide, and then you also have the U-Turn. Now, some could carry Super Power as well just to get up, or, or Close Combat, um, just to get up that uh, Max Knuckle as well, but these four is going to be pretty common for your Assault Vest, and then just changing out the the u-turn uh for the protect in life orb case now next we have thunderous and thunderous is a pokemon that is not really a supportive pokemon like how the others were thunderous is going to be 
a big, um, you know, it, it has a supportive tendency just in the fact of, hey, don't intimidate my guys. Um, because if you intimidate uh, while the Thunderous is out, you will gain a plus two in attack. So you'll go minus one and then plus two, which will effectively give it a plus one. And using things like a Sword Vest or Life Orb will make this Pokemon a supercharged, super power man, and it's going to be really, really powerful. A very common thing that you'll see a lot of the time is Landorus and Thunderous, both coming out here. I call it Lando Thundo. It's a pretty common strat, and a lot of Pokemon will use it on their team. A lot of things like Zashi and Groudon, uh, Kartana, a lot of really, really powerful physical attackers will put a Lando Thundo core on their team, give it a little bit of a defensive backbone with the Lando, and then give it a little bit of the, you know, don't intimidate me with Thunder. So that's pretty good. So those Pokemon are go pretty hand in hand a lot of the time. They don't have to, but they will be on the same team very frequently uh, of the time. Like very frequently here, you can see uh, both are very, very top contender Pokemon. L Thunder is actually seeing more play currently, according to Picolytics. That's very interesting to see. Um, so yeah, that's about it for these couple of Pokemon. Let's go ahead and move on. Let's talk about some more. So here's some more supportive Pokemon. Uh, notice I didn't really, you know, fill them out too much just because uh, time constraints, and, uh, or not really time constraints, just I didn't really want to. But uh, yeah, we'll talk about them. So first off, we have Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini has definitely surged down in the in play in this format. You know, at the beginning, it was absolutely everywhere. It said, hey, don't burn my guys. Don't sleep my guys. You know, with the setting up the Misty Surge and stuff like that. It's a very, very defensive Pokemon with really good, really high defense and special defense. You set up a Calm Mind. It's very, very specially defensive. And then after a Calm Mind or two, it's, you know, your uh, Muddy Waters and stuff like that are going to be doing a, a very, very good amount of damage. Um, so that's really good. This will usually have, like, either Leftovers or, like, a Berry, like an Aguav, like a Pinch Berry or something. Even Citrus. So... That's Miss. Uh, that's uh, Tepu Fini. It's really, like I said, it's really, really, excuse me, really surged down um, in recent days. But it is still a really good Pokemon that's out there. Um, so keep that in mind. Next, you have Gastron, which is a Pokemon that surged up in play very, very recently. Something I think is kind of interesting. I haven't really been seeing Gastrodon just because of how low we see water Pokemon. Very, very strong water Pokemon. The only ones that really common in the format is like Tapu Fini and Lapras. And uh, so like, you know, seeing Gastrodon here is a little interesting. Um, you know, uh, if you're afraid of Colossal, this could help. But, you you know, the Surf is still going to hit. Um, so, yeah. No, it's not. Is it? No. Okay, cool. Gastron's cool. Gastron does help a little bit um you know it moves in it has the storm drain ability which is cool you have recover you have yawn a lot of really good things it's a really interesting pokemon to see surge back in play because of how popular rillaboom is um and that's why it initially took that such a huge dive like two series ago in series six so or series five so yeah really interesting uh to see gastron coming back in the meta but i just wanted to give it a little spotlight there because i like it i think it's cool gastron's a, a cool cool dude Next, we have P2 and Dusclops. These two go hand in hand. It's going to be one of one or the other on your team. Uh, they will be set in Trick Room, but they both offer a little bit different things. Porygon 2 is a little bit more offensive, especially with Download. If you hit that plus one in Special Attack, you know, it's Thunderbolts, it's uh, uh, Ice Beam, it's uh, Tri Attack. They're all going to be doing a good bit of damage, and yeah, that's pretty cool. It is very bulky still with the Eviolite and pretty solid uh, defense, you know, 90 and 95 and 85. It's very normal like it's very average bulk but when you give it eviolite boom it's like bulky it's like bulky it also has recover um which is a really really cool thing that it has it also has eerie impulse which is just cool things to have just cool things to know that they're in the meta um on the p2 things like dust clops, there's one of each you know you can go for dust clops or the p2 if you're going for a trick room engine and uh yeah they both have their big differences Porygon 2 is there. Dusclops has moves like Haze. It has Helping Hand. It has um, Nightshade, you know, for damage. It has Pain Split for, you know, being weird. And and it's it's just cool. It has Shadow Sneak if you want to, you know, you have something there. Some weird things. So, Dusclops has a whole bunch of weird things. It has Bind. I saw, like, people were playing Bind um, on it for a little bit. It's weird. It has a lot of weird moves, and it's really good. But look at these defenses. 130 and 130. Um, slap uh, Eviolite on this thing. It's just incredibly bulky. 
super good trick room Pokemon. If you're looking for a trick room Pokemon for you, you know, you like a trick room uh, room on your like your Sun team uh, for your Groudon mid your mid speed Groudon your min speed Torkoal or whatever you have there. Dusclops make they like they make for a great um, you know Pokemon on there. Dusclops really 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 surged down recently and then uh, Porygon surged down recently. We didn't see a lot of trick room, but now we're starting to see it back um, up a little bit more. And it's pretty good. Another really strong supportive Pokemon is this Amoongus. You know, you have Spore Rage Powder. Nothing too crazy there. You know, it's, it's fairly slow, so it works really well on Trick Room teams as well. You know, things like the Porygon or the Dusclops on your team. Amoongus jumping in there. Makes for a pretty good pretty good time there. Um, so these supportive Pokemon are incredibly powerful once again. Next, we have the Umbreon. Umbreon is a Pokemon that has surged up in recent days. And a lot of, a lot of players are favoring this Pokemon, actually, which is really interesting. Because it's always been in the meta. It's always been here. You know, it's it's just... People are wanting to use it now. Um, which is cool. It does have pretty good defenses. 95 HP, 110 defense, and 130 special defense. Which is all around just very solid. You have Moonlife, Moonlight, so you get to heal some. And when you're in Sun, it does a lot of healing. Um, so you see this Pokemon on Sun teams, potentially. You have Snarl, Yawn. Snarl for some damage differentials. And you, Yawn, just to be a little annoying boy uh or, or or lady whatever you are um umbreon gets pretty annoying you know you have moonlight snarl yawn protect it's a very annoying set it can run foul play um and it's just there for a while you know especially if your opponent just ignores it uh you just start getting really big damage you have a pokemon next to it with max steel spike or quake just making this thing super 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 bulky while being able to heal up and just yawn everything sleepy sleepy town you're just sleep is good uh that's another pokemon that you know we've seen a little bit of a surge up um i incineroar is not on this list why is this... I, I i was thinking i put it up earlier anyway incineroar um the next one we're going to talk about are some more offensive pokemon but we'll talk about the incineroar here as well first um incineroar is the most used uh you know pokemon actually i think it's the most used yep it is the most used right now which is fine it makes sense that's been that way for a very long time every format it's in there it takes the center the center stage super good fake out incredibly strong parting shot with intimidate incredibly incredibly powerful you have berries out uh you know berries assault vest uh a whole bunch of different ways to use this thing did i really not put this on the list it's weird that's weird i don't believe that i didn't do it but it, but here we are very bulky Pokemon, um, you know, you have 90, 90, 95, all pretty average things there, but the typing is just so good, you know, no quad weaknesses, which is good. You do have a couple things you got to look out for, you know, close combats from Zacian could be scary, Sacred Sword from Zacian. You have Earth Power on a whole bunch of really great Pokemon, things like even White Curem are using it, uh, a lot of really good things. So, Incineroar has to look out for a couple things, but you can calc it pretty safely, you can calc this thing to live Max Attack, Venusaur, Earth Power, the Max Quake. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty good. Incineroar, I really shouldn't have to talk too much more about Incineroar, because it's just so powerful, and everybody knows what it's doing. Uh, next, let's talk about these powerful electric types. A lot of Pokemon, uh, a lot of teams will have a very good electric type, uh, being one of these three, most likely. We already talked about Thunderous, so I'm not going to talk about it anymore, but we also do have things like Zapdos in the meta that are actually pretty surprisingly good. You know, you have Life Orb, Dynamax does, starts doing super high amount of damage and then you have regilecki that is good it has very good moves um all electric but still very strong Tra transistor plus magnet plus special attack investment makes it very 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 strong and it's the fastest pokemon in the game um right like actually incredibly fast and you have great speed control here with electro web you know the only better speed control you're getting is things with prankster you know being able to set up prankster tailwind thunder wave or even scary face was that a scary face? Was that a scary face? Okay, so yeah, these are good Pokemon. Uh, a lot of a lot of teams will be featuring one of these Pokemon. Um, so that's something interesting to take away. Also, of course, you know we have Raichu in the in the game as well for lightning uh, or for lightning rod. So that's cool. We also have Tapu Koko, which can be uh, you know take the spot, the electric type spot. Um, on this as well, so good things to keep in mind. Next we have Rillaboom. Rillaboom is a very, very powerful Pokemon. Another standard staple, another staple that glues your team together. You know, give this thing a Salt Vest, Choice Band, Miracle Seed, a whole bunch of different things. Um, and its spreads are very inconsistent. You know, they're all over the place. You know, you see these things 
like crazy, you know, with uh, screen calcs, your regular calcs, your assault vest calcs. This thing can be used in many different ways, but it's usually just a grassy glide machine. But that's okay because it also has fake out. So it has a couple of really, really major uses um, that, that just add so much to this Pokemon. It's incredibly strong. Next we have Lapras, um, you know, Rillaboom was one of the things that really pushed this thing out of the meta. Now it's back, you know what I mean? So that's pretty cool. We see Lap Dog being played pretty frequently. We don't see it too much anymore. Um, that was a little bit earlier in the meta thing. Now, you know, most Zacian teams are running like Torkoal Venu or something on their team uh, with Charizard. And uh, yeah, but Lapras is still a very, very viable play. Great teammate for the dog and a great teammate in general. You don't have to use Lap Dog, but when you max this thing, you know, most teams will be maxing their restricteds so you know being able to utilize a pokemon like zashian that doesn't that can't max um you have to have a good pokemon that will dynamax otherwise um which could be the lapras you know like i'm saying but yeah it sits up like light, light clay screens light clay aurora veil with an attack so that's pretty interesting lapras does some pretty good stuff and it's very generically bulky i mean look at that hp stat on a dynamaxing pokemon super super bulky very good that's it for those. Let's talk about some more strats and some more offensive Pokemon. First off, we got Venusaur G-Max. You like that one? I said it right this time. V-Max Genosaur here. Pretty good stuff. You got some really solid calcs that people are making now. Um, you know, very bulky. Um, or like a little bit of bulk with screens really goes a long way on these very offensive Pokemon. You don't need to put too much, um, you know, speed into it since it does double with Chlorophyll. So you'll see this thing very, very frequently next to a Torkoal or Groudon. Usually the Torkoal though right now, you know, Groudon takes your restricted slot. So, you know, having a Pokemon like Torkoal that just does its job without being the restricted, you get to use things like Zacian on your team and it's a pretty good time. Uh, Venusaur is very, very strong in this format, super offensive, but you can still run it with uh, Sleep Powder as well. That's usually what people do. This is usually the, the spread that it goes. Leaf Storm, Sludge Bomb, Earth Power, Sleep Powder. You can go, instead of the Earth Power, if you don't want it, you can go for Protect, and it can be a good time. But, um, yeah, overall, you know, pretty defensive sometimes. You know, I, this is a random calc, um, or like a random spread. I actually just made it entirely random, but it's pretty pretty likely Correct, you go all into attack, a little bit into HP, defenses, and then a, a bit into speed just to make it, you know, the right speed. Um, and yeah, Torkoal will be one of two ways. You know, we have the defensive Torkoal with the body press, the yawn, the burning jealousy that we've seen the most of in recent days. But I have seen a little bit of more, uh, or a little bit more play in these other types of Torkoals that are doing offensive things. You know, you have Tor Charcoal, Choice Specs, you have Life Orb, Expert Belt, all good options on the Torkoal. You have good damaging with Earth, uh, Array, 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 Eruption and Heat Wave and Earth Power and a couple other cool moves. I think it gets Solar Beam. Does a lot of really cool things, but you're not going to be maxing it much. So Solar Beam, well, actually, Solar Beam is fine because you set up the sun. Anyway, Protect as well on these Charcoal sets. If you're going Choice Band, you can't have that. Um, but yeah, we have not seen, you know, the damaging Torkoal. This is something that'll be in the back. You have to set up Trick Room first for Eruption to really be potent because you want it to go first. But once Trick Room is set up, Eruption. It's doing the most, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. So yeah, Torkoal, Venu, something that has has surged up and up and up and up and up and nobody doesn't play this thing. It's it's just crazy good. It's such a good combo. Very, very powerful in the in the format. Next we have Dragapult that's really surged up in recent days, which is really, really cool because I love this Pokemon. We obviously will see the Life Orb, you know, Dynamax do good things, Max Airstream builds that we see, you know, pretty frequently, etc. etc. Do a lot of damage is a good time. But we also, of course, see the supportive the supportive Dragapult with the screens potentially. You got the Thunder Wave that is very, on a very fast Pokemon. You have Will Wisp, a lot of really cool things that can be done with Dragapult. Usually not gonna be, but can be done. A lot of the time we will see protect actually being will-o-wisp instead so you can get that will-o-wisp if you want but then you'll also be able to like you know max it and still be able to guard we also have seen some focus sash in recent days instead of the life orb only which is something that's cool so dragapult has a couple of different ways also of course if we go for the dragapult uh, or if we go for the Colossal, the Dragapult with the Surf is pretty staple. So that is, of course, something else that you should keep in mind. Do you like my hand motions? I'm doing a lot of hand motions today. I don't know why. Um, next, we have Rotom Heat, a Pokemon that I didn't really consider that viable in the format. And I was very wrong because I've seen this thing 
trend up and up and up and up and up and it's crazy i mean looking at these teams and results from the last event that we have here the the um you know the qualifier the grand finale for the winter series we see rotom here rotom here uh rotom two rotoms okay i was thinking it was going to be a couple more because i remember being a lot but still two rotoms um in the top 16 of a format um, you know it, with restricted and stuff. It's pretty interesting to see no heat ran We're going heat that over heat ran I saw one Cinderace a good couple of good fire Pokemon in the format So that's pretty good as well. This thing's just doing pretty standard stuff You know nasty pot you go safety goggles life orb something like that a berry potentially pretty defensive overall But also pretty fast and pretty damaging so um, you know, you you want to mess around with the Calx a lot for this Pokemon. It's not one you always want to just go 252, 252 for. You can, but you don't have to. Um, you can definitely work out uh, some good Calx for it. That's some pretty weird stats, like 107, 107, pretty weird. Next, we have Urshifu G Max. Nothing too crazy here. Um, nobody's doing, you know, Max in this Pokemon. You will every now and again, potentially, so definitely give it the candies, but... Um, yeah, it's pretty much just doing its thing, you know, it's going Wicked Blow, it's going Sucker Punch, it's going Close Combat, and that's about it, really, right? You can go Choice Band, you can go Focus Sash, a couple of different options there. Uh, Focus Sash seems to be the strongest right now, most of the time, um, but the Choice Band does offer a ridiculous Wicked Blow, an absolutely ridiculous Wicked Blow, so that is, uh, really, really good, so, love to see our Shifu. Uh, that's about it there. So let's talk about one more strat, and that's going to be the Colossal. I mean, this is nothing new. You know, it's, it won back-to-back -back Players' Cup 1, Players' Cup 2. It's not a Pokemon we have to sit here and talk about for hours. We can. We don't have to. It's really good. It's definitely a really, really strong Pokemon in the format. And it manages to top every single tournament, right? Every single tournament, it's in the top. It's a good Pokemon. It's something you'll, you you should learn to, uh, how to play against correctly. Do some calcs. When you're doing calcs, Think about this Pokemon, you know, your Dynamax Pokemon, if it can live a weakness policy, you know, Max Flare, think about it. It's a good, it's a good thing to know, especially if you're able to, to knock this thing out with like a Max Quake or something. Definitely a good thing to make sure you live and then return the blow, kill him, you're having a good day, right? You're dancing around the fire like, yeah, kill the boy. We got him. Okay, next, uh, we got the Zacian strats. Zacian is, well, let's... Let's be frank here. Zacian is the best restricted Pokemon. Maybe not the best always, but it is the most used and in, in in gets the most results. This Pokemon is incredibly strong. It does everything. It lets a different Pokemon Dynamax. It lets your Venusaur, your Charizard, or your Lapras, or your uh, your Lando, your Thunderous. All, all these guys can max around this guy, right? Because it's it can't max, and it does huge damage against maxed Pokemon. Usually the best Pokemon, the best way to fight a Dynamax is by Dynamaxing. Right? Well, this guy does double damage to Dynamax Pokemon. Why would you even care to Dynamax your Pokemon? You're just gonna throw out your Zacian Crown and be like, yeah, I did that. Yeah, I killed him with a Behemoth Blade. Wow. I did a whole lot today. It's good. I'm not gonna, like, it's, it's insanely good. Is it probably the Pokemon I'm gonna use for the Player's Cup? I'm not gonna lie. It's very, it's, a, it's incredibly strong. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not even gonna try to sugarcoat it because this Pokemon is stupid. Plain and simple. And that's what I'm gonna leave it at, right? That's all we're gonna do. You intimidate it, you hit it with fire, you hit it with earth, you hit it with, that's it. <laughs> you, you earth power this thing with a strong Pokemon. That is the one thing about this Pokemon. It's not incredibly bulky. It's definitely incredibly, like it's, it's definitely very, very bulky. 115, 115, 92, incredibly bulky actually, but it can't Dynamax. So that's, you know, that's the case. Is it's very, very strong, it's very, very bulky. But it can't Dynamax, so you can kill it with max moves, um, with, with strong Pokemon. You can do it, I believe in you. I, I believe in you. Also, you can intimidate this thing, you can fake it out, which is another crazy thing. Uh, they will be running Substitute a lot of the time, maybe Swords Dance, a couple of different options there. Um, sometimes even have Play Rough, you know what I mean? But, yeah. Zacian. Oh, good old Zacian. Next we have Kyogre, which is the second most used, usually the second most used, uh, restricted Pokemon. It's very, very strong. You know, we still see the Choice Scarf. We still see the Wiki Berry. We still see the Iron Ball. The Iron Ball we haven't really seen in this format. Um, we don't really see the Slow Kyogre. The Kai Sloger. <laughs> anyway, Choice Scarf is usually what we see a lot of the time. You see Mystic Water. Actually, probably Mystic Water or Sea Incense the most. Um, just a good Pokemon, you know, gets those really strong water spouts going. Uh, and it, it, it's incredibly strong. You usually see it paired with the Tornadus, you know, being able to give it the Tailwind that it needs to just throw the Water Spouts. Just, that's what Kyogre does, the Water Spouts. Um, it's really, really strong. 
uh, Ice Beam's good, you know, all these moves are really good. Kartana is another Pokemon that is typically on their teams. It's not always now, you know, Kartana is definitely trended down a bit, a good bit in the in the format. Um, but a lot of the time, uh, mostly because a lot of players would like to be maxing their Kyogres, especially the ones with the Sea Ensigns or the Water, uh, the Mystic Water. So, yeah, Kartana shifted down. Also, a lot of players are playing Dual Water or Dual Weather with Kyogre, Torkoal. You guys are crazy, but it's working right it's it's like it's just working man here's somebody that got ninth place at that tournament that i was just talking about uh yeah that's it but it's working it's working that's what i'm saying okay next uh next we have the groudon groudon a lot of, also here's charizard uh i didn't i didn't mention charizard earlier but charizard is in the format very very strong in the format you know being able to throw out those really strong max moves a lot of the time it'll have life war but it also can have charty berry it can also do um, you know, Charity Berry or Wakan Berry, something like that. So Charizard has a good time in the meta. And uh, yeah, it's next to Venusaur, it's next to Groudon, it's next to Torkoal, it's next to one of those. Uh, Groudon it has a couple of different ways. You know, you can use the bulky, not really Dynamaxing build with the Wikis. You have the Wide Lens, you have the Life Orb, you have the Weakness Policy. A whole bunch of Groudons, a whole bunch of different ways to use Groudon. Groudon's an, an amazing Pokemon in the format, um, but it is not seeing as much play as you know, in past formats with Groudon in there. Of course, we don't have the, you know, the, the primals, but it's incredibly strong regardless. Next, we have another, um, you know, set of res restricteds that are pretty strong in the meta. Um, Xerneas being the weakest link of these. Uh, Xerneas is actually just a weak link in, the, in, in general in the restricted format. A lot of these other ones that we're going to talk about here in a moment um, are seeing more play than Xerneas, but it's still, you know, cool. Calyrex Ice uh, and, you know, it's, it's you know, rider list form with Glastrure have both trended down a good bit in the format. Of course, you know, going from last format, Series 7 into Series 8, we were expecting to see a lot of Calyrex Ice. It just didn't work. You know, you want to max your restricted, so you don't really want to go for Glastrure, right? And then you want to max your restricted, so you go for the Ice, but... It's just not as good, right? It doesn't feel the same as Glastrier. Glastrier was rampant, but this one is just not as much. You know, you do have uh, 45, 49 speed, so it's a little more speed. But really what we're talking about here is the bulk, man. Defense 150, special defense 130, HP 100, huge, huge bulk. And then attack 165? Who made this? Who made this and why is it not seeing as much play as we think it should? I mean, I would think this Pokemon would see play everywhere. Nope, it gets one placement in the top 16 of the biggest, of the, uh, not the biggest, but the hardest, uh, not the hardest, but one of the, what, a good, a big turn, a, a, a hard tournament. <laughs> it got one placement in a 16-man tournament that, that is all, you know, very high tier players, and it lost immediately. Tell me how that works, man. Why is this thing not doing the most right now? It's crazy. Trick Room is good. This Pokemon is good. I really don't understand it. You know, its ability is amazing. It has Moxie. It's Life Orb. This thing does so much, actually just so much. And it's just not seeing the play right now. I really don't know why. It's it's weird, you know. It has good coverage. It has uh, uh, the Ice coverage, which is really strong in the format. It has Steel in the format, which is pretty solid. Um, you have Earth. But you, you know, you have Max Quake. You have a lot of different options. This Pokemon really let us down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's good Pokemon for sure, but man, going from Glastrue to this, you know, I don't know. Went from like a top 10 Pokemon to like a top 40, top 50 maybe, you know? All right, next we got Calyrex Shadow Rider. This is another Pokemon that, you know, a lot of people were pretty hyped for, kind of didn't didn't really get there, you know? Actually, I think Spectre sees more play um, on like Solgaleo teams and Duskmane and Necrozma teams. Either way, I mean, this Pokemon's pretty cool. It does some really good stuff. You know, you Dynamax it, you give it Life Orb. It does a whole lot of damage. But it has that big four times weakness, two of them, um, but the big one to Dark. So, you're scared. You, you know, you're scared in this format. You know, got things like Urshifu, Veltal, Galarian, Moltres. You got a couple of other Pokemon with Dark coverage, Lash Out on Thunderous. It's, it's not the best time for this Pokemon, and I think everybody sees that. But in the right format, this Pokemon would be incredible. Next, we have a Veltal, another Pokemon that's kind of trended down. You know, a lot of people were playing Weakness Policy or Life Orb Veltals at the beginning. Now, it's kind of trended down. It, do, it, is, it does do a lot of damage, um, for sure, especially next to, like, Urshifu. It makes itself and the Urshifu just do so much damage. You know, Wicked Blow with uh, with the Dark Aura is pretty pretty menacing, I'm not going to lie. Um, but, yeah, Veltal is just not putting in as much work as it was in the beginning of the format. It's still good, though. 
um, for sure. You know, you have good uh, good ways of using utilizing it and stuff, but yeah, it's not it's not seeing the most play. Xerneas is another Pokemon that you would think would be insane. It's just not really as good this format. I don't really know why. I do know why because you know Dynamax is pretty stupid. Um, when you have to take turn one to set up a Power Herb uh, or your Geomancy with the Power Herb, and then the next turn you get to Dynamax and do stuff. It's a little slower. It's still insane. You know, in the right player's hands, it's it's incredible. It didn't top this last tournament, but it topped the tournament beforehand that we saw. Um, so it's doing a lot, but yeah, it's not doing enough. It is it's a very strong Pokemon, though. It is pretty scary. Like, it's, it's, like, really scary. You just throw out some max, you know, attacks into it. You fake out, fake it out turn one. Um, yeah, it's, it's good, but it's... Yeah. Next, we got some other restricted Pokemon, some strategies we're going to just talk about pretty briefly. Ho-Oh is a Pokemon that doesn't Dynamax too frequently because of how good Sacred Fire is, giving a 50% chance to burn the target. Incredibly strong. You can't really switch in when this Pokemon's out. Um, you know, you can't switch in your Rillaboom. You can't switch in any of your physical attackers that, you know, even if they resist fire, you don't really want to take a burn because that would just, like, ruin the physical attacker for the rest of the match. Um, or the rest of the game. So, Ho-Oh is a pretty strong Pokemon, but due to the fact that it doesn't really want a Dynamax... Um, it's definitely seen less play than other restricteds in this format, um, and that's really the main reason. Rayquaza is a good Pokemon, but it's not really seen them play in this format. You know, Ice is everywhere. This Pokemon's really just collateral damage for things like Lando, um, but it is good. You know, Airlock being able to really get rid of those weathers, which is really good in the format that's just berated with Torkoal, Venu, Kyogre, Groudon, all these really good weathers. Um, but it's just not seeing the play, man. You know what I mean? Like, Swords Dance is cool. Can't really use Weakness Policy because your four times is just going to kill you. Um, yeah, it's just... It's not doing the, the most right now. What? But, uh, once again, like, in the correct format, this Pokemon would be pretty killer, honestly. Next, we have Eternatus. This is another Pokemon that just hasn't really been playing... Seen much play and stuff. It's pretty promising, so it's still a Pokemon you should want to know. Um, you know, it's in the format. It's incredible... It, or not incredibly fast, but it's... It's pretty, pretty darn toot and fast, if you ask me. You know, it's on the same speed tier as Tapu Koko. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good, right? Um, it can't Dynamax, but it does, um, it does have, once again, that double damage on, on Dynamax, guys. But it's Dragon, so, you know, it doesn't hit super effective on that many Pokemon, so. But yeah, for the, for those reasons, I'm out. No, I'm kidding. Eternity is pretty good. Next, we have Solgaleo. This is a Pokemon that is uh, actually in, in kind of the higher tier of restricted Pokemon. It's like in the middle. Um, you know, you have your tier, your your S tier, Zacian, your A tier, Kyogre, Groudon, um, and then your A tiers, Solgaleo. Solgaleo is really, really powerful. Um, another one that I'd put in there is Kyurem White. They just do a lot of damage. It's, this one activates weakness policy. You set a, a Spectre next to it. You hit Will-O-Wisp, you hit Bulldoze, proc your own weakness policy, and it's a pretty good time, you know, I'm not gonna lie, full metal body is also an amazing ability, you know, clear body, um, being able to not get intimidated in a format stuffed with in Intimidate, you know, you have Incineroar and, and Lando T everywhere you look, and, and it's just, it's good. So Galio is a pretty solid Pokemon, you know, it has good um, attacks and stuff, it's, it's a good guy. Um, we'll skip this guy for now, well, yeah, because I wanted to talk about the A tier. So Kyurem White um, is another Pokemon that's just super strong. Right? It's Life Orb. It does a whole lot of damage. It's, I mean, it's, it's stats are insane. 170 special attack? Shut up, dude. Get out of here. You're not that strong. What? Oh, he is. Crazy. Well, HP 125, you have, uh, you know, 90 and 100. Pretty solid defense. You strap some, uh, some screeds in front of this guy. You Dynamax it. It's living a while. It's doing some big damage. You have Ice Coverage, which is really strong in the format right now. You have Dragon Coverage with Warm Wind, which is really good, but... Be careful of those Thunderuses. You have Earth Power, which turns in Max Quake. It's a very good Pokemon with a lot of capable tools. Makes it a pretty solid Pokemon in the format, in my opinion. Necrozma Duskmane plays very similar to Solgaleo, but it's a little slower, but it does a little more damage. Yeah. It is a little bulkier. Kinda. It's the same. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna leave it at that. It's, it's the same. It's a good guy though. He does a little bit less damage, and or he takes a little bit less damage. It's a good. It's, he, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. I like him. I'd let him. I'd let him. Uh, well, if my daughter was a Dusk Mane to cross my, I would let him date my daughter. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't. Wouldn't let him. Yeah. Okay. So Dialga is another Pokemon that you should be aware of in the format. Dialga and Palkia. They both do pretty similar things. You know. Um, change of types a little bit, but Dialga usually will see weakness policy set, kind of similar to the uh, Solgaleo that, that we have, um, and it's pretty pretty good. You, you gotta go pressure though if you're self-procking with like bulldoze or something, but 
Um, yeah, it's doing some pretty good stuff. It has Trick Room as a good mix-up. You can go speedy. You can go non-speedy with Trick Room. Uh, a lot of different ways to do that. Same with Palkia. You know, kind of the same thing. Not really going for a weakness policy. Going for Lustrous Orb. Going for Life Orb. There was one Palkia in this. It went Safety Goggles. So that's another option. You have a lot of different options, right? Um, Palkia is pretty solid. I like it. You know, Safety Goggles gets you through Sleep Powder, which is cool. Um... You know, in, in a format like with the the guy everywhere, Venusaur is everywhere. So, it's, safety goggles good. Safety safety goggles stonks went up. You know what I mean? Okay, Palkia is pretty good. It's a good time guy, a good time gal. Next we got Reshiram. Reshiram. Reshiram's okay. You know, fire is pretty good. You know, you can you can max this thing and set it up. Um, you know, to do max flare and then you throw out your Venusaur and you're like doing it up doing it up I'm doing it up you know what I mean so Reshiram is pretty cool it's not really doing that much right now you know you don't see it very frequently but it's a it's a good Pokemon you know it's good enough to put on onto this list and did I have Kyurem White on both these yeah I did whoops oh well um oops, that's the first one so Galio I, are you talking about so Galio and Ho okay well that's it I was I don't know why I have so many of these Pokemon twice um yeah Okay, that's about it. That's about it for the video, you know, pretty summer, summed up of the format. Um, you know, it's probably a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of information to soak in. But I think that sums up the format pretty well. Uh, if I miss anything or you think, you know, I'm dumb and stupid or something, tell me in the comments, I guess. Um, and also, just tell me if you're having a good day in the comments or whatever. <laughs> Hope you have a good weekend. I hope you have good luck. Good luck in the tournament, right? Good luck in the Players Cup. Uh, have a good weekend. Like, comment, subscribe. That's what I was missing. I forgot something. I knew I forgot something. Like, comment, and subscribe. It makes a huge difference. It really does. Uh, have a great weekend, and goodbye.